thank you for tuning in. My name is Ammar Mango. I'm a project management enabler for about 20 years now, and I have been helping people pass the PMP exam, among other things that I do as a consultant and a project management practitioner. Uh, what I would like to talk to you in this series about is passing the PMP exam. Passing the PMP exam requires smart preparation, not only a hard study. So I would like to talk to you about how to prepare for the PMP exam through the series. And we will start with the tip number one, which is to prepare as a professional, not as a student. Most of the people who go to the exam prepare as students. I would like you to think about preparing as a professional rather than a student. There's a big difference between how a professional would prepare rather than how a student would prepare. Let's start by looking at how students would prepare for the PMP exam. If I was going to prepare as a student, I would read the PIM book from beginning to end. Even though many advise you to do that, I do not think this is the best way to pass the PMP. Not by reading the PIM book from cover to cover. Also, many go to trainings that with a facilitator or instructor who can take them through the PIM book. Again, the knowledge areas, chapter by chapter, from beginning to end. Again, this is really not the best way to prepare, not your most effective way to prepare and pass. And finally, many focus on memorizing the knowledge in the PIM book, and in, uh, they ignore actually more important aspects of what they are reading. So they just try to memorize each input and output and the tools and techniques and the different knowledge areas and the processes, etc. Again, this is really how a student would prepare, but not the best way to prepare for the PMP exam. So how do we prepare properly for the PMP exam? My advice to you, as I said, is to prepare as a professional. How would a professional prepare? First of all, a professional would learn how to apply the PIM book on projects. So I want you to imagine that you are looking at the PIM book not to pass the PMP exam, but to learn how to apply what's in the PIM book, the best practices in the PIM book to your projects. Remember, the exam focuses on your ability to apply the PIM book knowledge, not your ability to memorize it. So memorizing it will not do you any good, especially in most of the exam questions, which are actually situational questions, not knowledge questions. So we do not need a training that just takes us through the PIM book. We need a training that gives us practical project management training that focuses on how to apply the PIM book, not the PIM book knowledge. Also, we need to understand the value, but not memorize the processes in the PIM book. So for every, every process, we need to think about what value does this bring? If I miss this process on a, one of my projects, what would I miss? If I do not have certain inputs that the PIM book talks about, what do I miss? What are the risks I'm taking? What's the value of the output that I will get of this process or that process? How can this tool help me do this process in an effective fashion? This is tip number one on how to prepare for and pass the PMP exam on your first try. I hope you join me on tip number two.